Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be showing you the amount of airflow needed in a grow space based on the air filtering accessories you use with your inline exhaust fan. An exhaust fan is crucial for a successful grow setup, but because the airflow restrictions that come with vents in the ducting, as well as additional accessories such as a carbon filter or duct silencer, it's sometimes hard to figure out just what your setup needs. So today we'll be testing the effects of each of these things on an inline fan to give you a more accurate idea of what happens to the airflow in every situation. If you're running an inline fan as an exhaust fan and nothing else, figuring out your airflow needs is a simple calculation of cubic feet per minute or CFM. Generally, you'll want to refresh the air in your grow space at a minimum of once per minute. So by multiplying the length, width, and height of your grow space, you'll come out with the lowest CFM your inline fan will need to produce. The problem here is that by adding anything else to your inline fan, whether that be a carbon filter, ducking, or a duct silencer, everything will make airflow less efficient. So we'll be testing each item today separately to give you an idea of approximately what CFM you'll actually need based on the accessories you connect to your inline fan. To do this, we'll be using a cheap anemometer, which measures wind speed. For the base wind speed that we'll be comparing everything else with, we'll start with an inline fan by itself, connected to six feet of straight ducking. And here you can see that with no accessories attached, or bends in the ducking, we're getting around 8.7 meters per second. Now if we bend the ducking by 45 degrees, this drops the airflow down to around 8.1 meters per second, or a little over a 5% drop. bend the ducking at 90 degrees, and now we have an airflow speed of around 7.8, which is closer to a 10% drop. Need to do a full U-turn on your ducking? That'll drop the speeds down to around 7, which is a whopping 20% decrease in airflow. Now let's take a look at a carbon filter. Here we're using a standard carbon filter which is slightly lifted off the ground so that air can enter it from all sides. And this drops the meters per second down to around 7.8, which is surprisingly only around a 10% drop in the airflow. Finally, let's take a look at a duct silencer which is used to minimize the airflow noise as it passes through the ducking. Adding this at the end of the ducking shows a wind speed of around 7.4 meters per second or a 15% drop in efficiency. And this was pretty surprising that a duct silencer decreases the airflow more than a carbon filter. So let's put all this knowledge together in a real world application. For a three by three by six feet grow tent, we're going to need to exhaust a minimum of 54 cubic feet per minute. Let's say for this setup, we'll want a carbon filter, a duct silencer, and ducking that includes both a 90 degree angle bend and a 180 degree angle bend. So by factoring in the drop-in efficiency of both the accessories as well as the bends of the ducking, 
it looks like we'll need an inline fan that can produce a minimum of 100 cubic feet per minute. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.